Now, for years, a successful B.C. businessman has been spreading his fortune around, pouring a huge amount of money into the Bill Clinton Foundation. The foundation is committed to helping close the gap between rich and poor in a number of countries around the world. And tonight, we can show you where some of that money is going. Here's Deb with NewsHour Insight. Yes, Chris, the man's name is Frank Justra, and he is working with Bill Clinton in what they call a sustainable growth initiative, financing eye clinics for the poor, promoting better nutrition for children, and helping local farmers grow organic and sell internationally. Our Brian Coxford recently traveled to Peru, where Bill Clinton was checking on the progress of some of their investments. The patients in this Peruvian clinic all have something in common. They have cataracts, and without treatment, they could become totally blind. They are some of the poorest people in Lima, and without help, they can't afford the surgery that will dramatically improve their quality of life. There are actually circumstances here where a five-year-old grandson may be helping his grandfather, literally being his seeing eye dog. Grandpa has surgery, comes out, and he sees his grandson's face for the first time. They're intimately entwined because they hold hands all day, but grandfather has never seen his grandson's face. You can't imagine what that's like. In Peru, cataracts are identified as a national medical problem. Close to 100,000 of the country's poorest people are losing their sight. Nutrition and water quality are a leading cause. It's preventable and relatively inexpensive to treat if you have the means. And it is Peru where a former U.S. president and billionaire Vancouver mining financier have joined forces to eradicate a condition that is detrimental to the livelihoods of people in communities that are already economically depressed. We could eradicate this throughout Latin America if anybody mm -hmm. knew it. They don't yes. know the dimensions of the problem. This is one of 12 clinics countrywide financed by the Clinton Justra Sustainable Growth Initiative. In six months, 5,000 patients have regained sight. The goal is 50,000. The $10 million bill under the Clinton Foundation is being shared by Canadian Frank Justra and Mexican billionaire Carlos Slim. Pretty gratifying to uh, hear these results. Oh, absolutely. It's seeing it that, you know, just makes it all worthwhile. Lots of people who will see their families again. Yeah, absolutely, and, and can be productive, can work. It has been a blessing, a blessing from God, because I was losing the willingness to live. I, I suffered a lot. I suffered because I was not, I felt I was not useful anymore. Clinton and Joostra have brought their millions of dollars to Peru in an effort to close the gap between rich and poor. And they're doing it by attacking problems that are synonymous with the poor, which is about half Peru's population. Things like child nutrition, medical problems because they can't see a doctor, and raising the standards of the product in a farmer's field so they can be sold abroad. While in Lima, the Justra team announced another initiative. He and five mining companies are pumping millions more into a child nutrition program to help marginalized moms. He's been heavily involved with mining for many years. And he came to me and said, a lot of miners I know want to contribute to the well-being of the communities where we operate. Three years ago, the Vancouver mining mogul went to New York with Carlos Slim, each man pledging $100 million to the Clinton Foundation. Justra also recruited dozens more from the multi-billion dollar mining industry in Canada and around the world to contribute millions more to socially sustainable initiatives in underdeveloped countries where they mine. Indicators already show that this program works properly. Okay, so Money well spent. Very well spent. The Clinton Justra program also empowers hundreds of farmers in Peru's poorest remote communities to grow organic fruits, vegetables and meat products. Their traditional local markets have expanded around the world, increasing the well-being of the families involved. Back at the cataract clinic where Peru's poorest are getting a new lease on life, Frank Justra gets to witness firsthand philanthropy pays off. I knew it was, uh, it was a good thing when we started, but to actually see it happen was, was very gratifying. 
Clinton and Justra also have social initiatives in another South American country and tomorrow Global BC will follow them to Colombia where they will launch a 20 million dollar fund to help small businesses that need seed money to grow. And we will also take you to a school in Northern Colombia where they're training hundreds of young people from poor communities for careers in the supermarket industry something that they would never be able to do without this help. Chris, that's tonight's insight.